Yo, what up guys, it's your boy son TJ man back again to make y'all another video and I've been very busy So I don't know how many videos are gonna be uploaded next week I don't know if we're gonna be able to do another playthrough of the next episode for Walking Dead or etc Because I've been very very busy studying, but uh, I'll see what I can do man But today we're here to review drama super episode 79 Universe 9's Brazil the kicker versus universe 7's Majin Buu now let's do a quick summary. Uh, that's pretty much the fight. <laughs> it's the fight between Brazil and Majin Buu and how Majin Buu thinks this is just like a play, like they're not really fighting, while Brazil is pretty much whooping his ass, but really Majin Buu is just playing around. And just we're discovering rules, well not real rules, but rules for these coming fights about what Zeno wants and the Grand Priest wants. We're learning more about the Universe 9's um, characters and how Goku and Gohan can't sense their energy and it's not because they have God or anything it's just a different universe um, we figure out who wins in the end which is uh, Majin Buu because Brazil makes a mistake of somehow injuring Mr. Satan and Majin Buu out of nowhere like you know he says fuck it I'm gonna fight and he actually beats Brazil and next up is Gohan versus the next brother which I can't remember but he's like a poison type guy like a pretty much a frost type character and um, so, overall pacing, really fun, like really good pacing, because it's a tournament type saga, you can't really give too much pacing towards it, but the fights, overall character development, Majin Buu is shown to, you know, be kind of like the dog for Mr. Satan, when his owner gets hurt, that's when he wants to fight. Um, Goku's character is still being because a lot of people are questioning Goku's character because the guy is still pure of heart he's still a good guy but a lot of people think he's an anti-villain etc etc but it's still showing that Goku wants everyone to fight their full power because he even says to the universe's nine Supreme Kai to have Brazil fight as his full strength which he does and Brazil he is really just like a Sanji character in Dragon Ball and he was really overconfident like the motherfucker would not stop laughing the entire episode um, we learn more about Zen Chan or Zeno, whatever that he wants. Like he doesn't really give a fuck about rules because even when Majin Buu knocks um, Brazil out of bounds, he says like, "No, I just want to have fun." So the Grand Priest just pretty much goes along with it. He says, "Until we actually get rules for the eventual tournament, we're just gonna say, hey, we don't even care if people die or anything. Just whoever is left standing wins." So that's pretty much adds a sense of danger to the overall fighting that's coming up. Um, we learned that the leader of the brothers pretty much just wants the other guy to kill people. So that's something. And we also learned that the Universe is Nine's God Destruction is not as molistic as the Universe Nine Supreme Kai. He actually looks kind of frowned upon when he's seeing how the Supreme Kai is cheating. So we see that he has a sense of honor. Not everybody from Universe Nine is assholes. Um, overall, like power scaling, I guess, Brazil, se Brazil seems more like Majin Vegeta perfect cell level type character though he might be a little bit stronger than Majin Vegeta because he was able to tank uh, Majin Buu's full power command May wave I don't know if it was but he was in the stance um, at the end of the episode we see that Majin Buu wins and all and it's Gohan versus the next brother I can't remember the guy's name so uh, my apologies on that but we see that in the preview Gohan is going to be blinded but Here's my R thing, because I already did a lot of videos over Gohan and um, everything about that. And listen, Gohan is already in his potential unleashed state. He's been throughout this entire show. It's just that this is him back even more powerful than he was before. Because arguably in the Resurrection F saga, when he went Super Saiyan, he became more powerful than he was in the Majin Buu saga. If you want a more in detail video, you can go to my link about, you know, explaining Gohan's power, etc. But this is a re more powerful Gohan with the potential unleashed state and be able to put Super Saiyan right on top of that to make him even more powerful. Because even shown when Gohan was training with Goku, Goku as a Super Saiyan beyond God was being overwhelmed by Super Saiyan potential unleashed Gohan. So this is a very powerful Gohan we're about to see here. Okay, so everyone bitching and complaining that he does have his bang, get over it. <laughs> because at the end of Z, he didn't have his bang anyway. So I don't know why people are nitpicking that. But hey, we're going to see what Gohan is able to do. Even because um, um, Geekdom even tweeted out that um, there's information showing that Gohan is even more powerful than he was before, even adding more facts to what I'm saying, and he's he's ready for action, and he's already in his ultimate form. So people saying that he can't go Super Saiyan in ultimate form, etc., etc., you're wrong, and you just gotta deal with it. Um, 
so overall story progression pretty much showing character towards um how the, the the beginning tournament has a lot more danger the next guy up is willing to kill um gohan is one to prove himself and just pretty much showing majin Buu is really attached to mr satan and he's going to do anything he can to defend him and that's like his overall fighting spirit right there arts and animation you could tell they really stepped up their game for this new saga because everything is on model straight up and i think there's a majority of this episode is animated by nooki taite because it's very fluid especially that one scene where Basil powers up and he uses his feet and like they were they're doing like dbz you know dodging and punching especially majin Buu. it's fantastic artwork <clears throat> excuse me everything's on point the animation is crazy the artwork is on point everything's on model and you can't really argue saying that hey they're not stepping their game up this is legit peak dragon ball super right here other than the vegeta versus omasu fight so i gotta say i really enjoyed this episode from um from a non-objective standpoint this really moves the story forward showing characters that we don't really get to see fight fight in a really great way because it's been a while since we've seen majibu fight in a great glory because the last time we saw him fight was against beerus and everyone got fucking stunned by beerus except super saiyan god goku so overall uh stature for review uh overall stature for you what the fuck i'm talking about overall rating i mean i'll give it a nine out of ten amazing the fight was very fluent just to see more about the characters seeing how universe nine characters can't be sensed by universe seven characters is adding more lore to the story um adding excitement for the next episode because in the episode preview we see gohan fighting the new um brother and he's blinded and we're gonna see something happen in guys gohan fans especially the ones that are very into badass gohan are gonna really enjoy it and hopefully we don't have a lot of nitpickers really complaining about him not having a fucking bang okay let's come on people i know drama fans are really hard to impress and sometimes cancerous but hey you got Gohan fighting. He looks like he does in the Boo Saga. Is he even way more stronger? And he's stacking Super Saiyan on top of his potential elite state. What else can you want, man? So, let me you know what you guys think about episode 79. Um, let me know what you also think about the new God Destructions. Um, do you think I should make a video talking about the names? Um, also, I should be doing a top 10 strongest Ben 10 uh, when I get the uh, when I get the chance. The original Ben 10, okay? The one I grew up with. I don't know the fuck's going on after, like, I don't know how many series they made a Ben 10. Like, they made a shit ton, but now it's a reboot. But, uh, yeah, I'm talking about the original Ben 10 where they had, like, an anime-like animation. I should be making top strongest of that. And more videos of me playing The Walking Dead uh, Season 2. And um, maybe a live stream of Resident Evil 7 if I have fucking time. This Spanish studying is kicking my black ass. So... Let me, go, let me know what you guys think there. It should be a video also coming out with uh, asking what you guys want to see and etc. So yeah, sons y'all, peace. Love you all. Hey, hit records on my demo. Did y'all boys not get the memo? I do not stay at the intercontinental. And anything I got is not a rental. I own that.